I saw in a book that breathing is not the same thing as respiration. Please explain how this is true. It is true in the language of science. The difference is that breathing means inhale and exhale of oxygen in a continuing way in which oxygen is inhaling in the body and carbon dioxide is exhaling from the body. But respiration is a process in which food particles in which carbon-hydrogen bonds combine and can easily break down the food particles by reduction reaction and the energy produced in the reaction is transformed into the ATP. But the short difference is that breathing is an outer process and respiration is a chemical process that takes place in the body. Do you understand now? Yes. Thank you for answering the questions I asked. You're welcome. We're going to be discussing brogues. I'm sure we have heard of some shoes that are called brogue before, but today we are going to be looking at how to brogue our sandal. Now, some of us will be wondering what does it mean to brogue. Now, let's go ahead. Now, majorly when it comes to brogue, we are talking about ornamenting of our upper and i'm sure by now you know what i mean by upper ornamenting it by by means of uh, you know creating series of holes of different shapes and sizes for example now let's assume this is my hopper for example i can decide to create a kind of series of hole this way when i'm through with my upper i can decide to create series of holes so when you talk about broke, we are talking about creating holes, and most times you'll be creating it using your either your hollow punch, your oblong punch. You can use different kind of punch to actually. We have some oval shape punch, so we are going to be using different types to decorate our hopper that is majorly what brogues is all about and when it comes to shoe we have different types of of brogues we have the the full brogue we have the semi full we have the quarter and we have the long wing so in this class i'm going to be showing us how we can brogue our sleep as you can see what i have here i'm going to be showing us how i did this now to that I already have a design that I came up with. Now, you can come up with different designs. You can see what I have here. Now, how did I create this? What I did is this. I created a square shape. Normally, you know, a square shape is a shape that has, you know, all the sides to be equal. For example, let's say I have something like this. I have this as well to be three so with this I have created a square and I'm going to put my square here to create a shape now looking at this you will find out that this is quite big you can see that it's a bit big so I'm going to try to reduce my square a little bit more I'm sure now you can see what I have as my square shape now I, I can decide to place it here. now you can decide to place it this way you can place it this way and draw out your square you can decide to make it a bit diagonal i hope you know what i mean by diagonal now you can make it look this way you know positioning it this way we actually give it another shape entirely so let's say i position it this way let me try to outline it gently now you can see what i have from this i can decide to reduce the shape by dividing it into four then creating another shape inside i can decide to create the same shape right into it i just divided that by four so i'm going to create another one another one now you can see what i have now don't forget i'm just trying to 
create a design for our brogue and this is majorly for a sander now since i have this now i can decide to begin to create my o now you can make use of a punch like this the size you are using will determine how it will look like for me my punch are all circular so and this is size one now as you can see that my own punch is has a round shape so you can see what i have as i punch now when you do this all you need to do is just transfer it into your patterns you can create different kind like what you have here now you have created a design you can decide to create another one here you can decide to pick up another punch size and then create another one now for this you can decide to you can see that this one is a bit different you can come down come down create another one come down you as as much as you create a kind of style of design you are good to go you can see that this look more like another thing now if you look at my slide that i actually perforated you will find out that you can see what i have I've taught us how to create this paracord. I've taught us already. You can see what I have. All I did was just broke my upper. When I was finally through, I just broke it. Now that I broke one and I'm not done the other, all I need to do is just to duplicate the same thing I did here. I'm just going to duplicate it on the other one. I'm sure we know how to go about this. I've taught us about this measurement 5 by 3.5 and this particular side I've taught us as well. So you can go ahead and um, create yours. So basically what I want to show us today is just how to broke our sander. So it's not only shoes that can be broke. And now for the full, the main full brogue, it's also called a wink tip. As you can see on the screen, you'll find out that it has the whole full shoe was actually perforated. Even the toe cap and the edges, you can see serrations there. And serration is actually, we're talking about a, a, a you know, you know how our serrated knife look like. Those ones that had like a zigzag. You have some of our knife that is like this, like a six saw. Yes, like a jigsaw six, you know, like that, like that. So you see the edge, the, 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 the edges like that so that those ones have foot called the full brogue and one funny thing about the full brogue is that when you look at it the picture you find out that it has this kind of a shape on it it has this kind of a shape on it those ones are at the full brogue now the semi brogue doesn't have this on it they don't have this design on it sometimes you find out that they are just straight like this but these parts i'm sure you'll see from the picture this part you find that they are all perforated they are all perforated so i want to believe that any time or anywhere you hear broke or perforation you know what it means thank you so much for watching today's tutorial don't forget if you are just coming across this particular channel don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell i would like to always notify you each time i upload a video thank you so much for being part of this today's tutorial and i'm gonna see you next time bye